periodically, I am the recipient of some breathtakingly self-righteous comments from the audience, reproaching me, informing me that I am a coward, that I'm a terrible person, that I'm making the world a worse place because I have comments disabled on most of my YouTube videos most of the time. Let's say hypothetically, you are a YouTuber. You have your own YouTube channel and you commute back and forth to work by bus for just one hour a day. You're on the bus for one hour a day each way. Do you want to spend that one hour reading and responding to YouTube comments? Deciding which ones should be deleted, which ones should be replied to? It may seem like a small sacrifice to ask from a content creator, but it's not. One hour a day is a tremendous sacrifice. And even if you're on a bus, that is one hour you could be spending reading a book. And if you're not on a bus, I say this, let's keep it all the way real. I know a lot of middle-aged YouTube content creators. If you are sitting on the couch with your phone out, with your laptop out, and your child is there in the living room with you, should you really be spending that one hour replying to comments on your YouTube channel as opposed to spending it with your child? You know, there's more to life than reading books. You know, I, I get it. But my point is, we tend to squeeze this activity into those little bits of free time on the bus, sitting on the couch. I think, I'm just being real with you. I know a lot of YouTubers who uh, read and respond to comments while they're at a restaurant, you know, eating, eating their food. I really want you to stop and reflect on the extent to which the world would be a better place if nobody had the comment section open on their YouTube channel. If each and every person on YouTube, each individual, whether they're making millions of dollars on YouTube, hundreds of dollars, or making no money at all out of this hobby, out of this unique form of autobiographical broadcasting, I want you to think how much better a person each one of these YouTubers would be individually if they took those few hours <laughs> it, it really does add up. It really can easily be seven hours a week. It really can be 14 hours a week. It really can be. If they took those few hours and either devoted it to research, to a form of reading, studying that will make them a better person themselves, or to caring for others in a way that enriches everyone's life, enriches their own life and the other person, whether that's caring for a child or just listening to your girlfriend, paying attention to loving, listening, caring with your girlfriend, when she's sitting across the table from you at the restaurant, instead of having your phone out, instead of having your laptop open, and dealing with the YouTube comment section. Okay? Um, if you think I'm a coward, what do I think about you? Because every single one of these comments comes from someone who has never dared to have their real face on the internet, their real name on the internet, and their real political views, convictions, their real moral convictions, which, by the way, includes their real mistakes. Everybody's got to be wrong sometimes, including me. <laughs> I've got my mistakes uh, on the internet. I have my brilliance along with my folly. Forever want to judge. Forever. Okay? Um, I, think, I think it's an interesting question in the 21st century. What does it mean to be brave? And what does it mean to be a coward? Nobody has ever written to me calling me a coward because I'm not a member of the Israeli army right now fighting against Hamas. Not one person. Nobody called me a coward because I wasn't in the army fighting in Ukraine. Nobody called me a coward 
because even though I volunteered to join the army, I didn't end up, for paperwork reasons, I didn't end up in the army fighting against ISIS. Okay? Life demands courage. When you look below a YouTube video at the comments, this ain't it. This ain't courage. This is not what courage means. And refusing to waste your time with it is not cowardice. It just means you have an awareness of the preciousness of each hour and a sense of positive motivation for the better things you have to do.